Welcome back to Friday Briefing. Let's now have a look at the business and we begin with NIC where fresh guidelines by the Central Bank of Kenya requiring all commercial banks to raise their capacity adequacy ratios by the end of the year have seen lenders venture into capital raising initiatives. NIC Bank is one of such lenders who is seeking funds not just to meet CBK's requirement but also to finance the next expansion cycle that will focus on developing new and existing business lines. KTN's Charles Kitonga spoke to the bank's managing director on why the lender is in the market to raise funds. According to the latest Central Bank of Kenya report on the performance of the banking sector, banks registered a significant reduction in the ratios of total capital to risk-weighted assets in the second quarter. The ratios of Tier 2 capital decreased from 18.2% to 17.5% as a result of increased lending which rose from 1.69 trillion in March to 1.98 trillion shillings in June. But the revised CBK prudential guidelines require banks to raise their Tier 2 capital from 12% to 14.5% by January 2015 and various banks are already tapping into the debt market. Among them is NIC Bank, which plans to raise 8 billion shillings through a corporate bond in the next five years. The bank has already issued its first tranche of the bond to raise 3 billion shillings, with a green shoe option of 2 billion shillings. The bank hopes to use the funds to meet the prudential requirements and also finance its growth strategy. We are at a point where a lot of our customers that we started with at the beginning have also grown with us, uh, and their demand or their need for, uh, for capital um, has grown as well. Uh, so we feel we're at a point where we need um, additional capital uh, to support them better. NIC also plans to raise an additional 2 billion shillings from its shareholders through a rights issue and borrowed 4.8 billion shillings from the International Finance Corporation, IFC, making the World Bank arm its third source of funding. Combined, the move will help the bank to reduce reliance on shareholder funds, which account for a majority of the 18 billion shillings capital base. When you measure the return on capital, if all your capital is in shareholder funds, then your denominator, which is your capital, becomes a big number. If, however, you diversify that capital by having some of it be shareholder funds and some of it being what's called tier two capital, which is what the bond uh, would, would, would give us, then you are leveraging your shareholder funds and therefore you can improve the return uh, on those funds. NIC wants to use the acquired funds to venture into the SME, retail, personal and mortgage banking segment where it's yet to establish a strong footing and show up its core business in asset financing and corporate banking. The SME business uh, is a business we have frankly not um, punched uh, at our weight. So I think even before we talk about other business lines, uh, that's a business that we need to invest uh, quite a bit in. Um, our personal banking um, business, which is the retail business. It's another business we feel we can do well. NIC already has subsidiaries in Uganda and Tanzania, but will be eyeing regional market for expansion opportunities. Charles Gitonga, KTN, Business.